Oh, Mark, you know how much I love history. And when you combine it with getting outside and actually hiking in it, so cool. And here with me this morning from Walking Mountain Science Center, we have Mackenzie Koffenberger. It's so good to see you this morning. Lovely to see you. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but Mackenzie happens to be the most well-read person I have ever met on the face of the planet. And so I'm guessing <laughs> that you may also have an affinity for history like I do. 100%. This is why this hike is just, it makes me so happy that other people who might not be big history readers can get out in the wilderness yes. and take advantage of this program. Okay, so it's called Hiking Through History and this is happening on September 8th, but there's Ooh, a- seventh. Oh, on the Sunday 7th. the 7th. The 7th, okay. Yes. But there's specific history that we're talking about here. So can you explain a little bit more? So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take people from Walking Mountains and drive them out to Camp Hale. Um, and so they can see the area of Camp Hale and bring them up to Tennessee Pass. We'll do a fantastic like um, early fall hike for the morning, learn about the mining industry and the different industries we've had out in Colorado at that time when Vail was just being discovered and people are starting to move here um, and even before that time. And then you get to go down to Camp Hale, hop in vans, and you're gonna go around all of Camp Hale seeing the structures that are still there. Um, learn about where soldiers trained, where they learned to rock climb, um, and you even get to see some still um, like shotgun or um, gun pieces still up in oh the gra wow. grass and um, dirt at the top of the hike. It's really unique of a day. This is amazing. And uh, just yeah. for some context for people that maybe um, haven't been to Vail before, they're just coming into town, Camp Hale is where basically our Vail and Beaver Creek's founders trained as part of the 10th Mountain Division. And so there's so much history out there, but the buildings are gone. Yeah. So to be able to have that guided experience, I think is the way to go. Yeah, and we're partnering with the 10th Mountain Division. So you have people who have been studying this, that are part of it. It's not our guides going out there and trying to tell you the history, it's people who are in it every single day. Wow. So it's a really unique experience. So our guides are still there, giving you all the wildflower information, everything that a naturalist would give you. But then we have that incredible side of the history. Oh. I'm bummed. I'm missing it. I know. I'm so, I'm so bummed. That's amazing. <laughs> and, and of course, the leaves are going to be starting to change. And you can see some photos here of just some of the hikes you can go on with Walking Mountain Science Center. So if people want to sign up, so this is September 7th. This is your opportunity. You were correct the right time when I did the dates. It's okay. the 8th. Oh, it's the 8th. Okay. <laughs> Ashley's Listen, right. It Ashley's is coming right. up. <laughs> It is coming up in <laughs> September. You want to be there. So how do people get signed up for that? Walkingmountains.org. It okay. is our banner across the website. You'll okay. just click on that banner. It'll bring you to the, to the site, and you can check out the rest of our um, fall hikes that we have also. Yes. Okay. So if, if we're not in town for this weekend, for the 7th and 8th, <laughs> that <laughs> weekend, um, there, there are some other fall hikes coming up. Yes. Okay. So what we do in September and October is sort of scout out the best places of um, where the leaves are changing and you get to see the most of the color of Colorado. Yeah. So we have full day hikes uh, twice a week and then half day hikes one day a week. So you can sort of pick and choose where you want to go. Um, the photos from these hikes are the most brilliant oh, that we have all year. It's gorgeous. And yeah. it's just, it's a unique thing to really get into the back country and not only just drive over Red Cliff and see the changes, but really dive in and see the different areas and different peaks that we have. Yes. So. It's, it's awesome. I can't wait. I'm going to go on a few. Yeah. Those I can go on, so I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> well, and then, you know, something else that I think everybody looks forward to every year is Fright at Ooh, the Museum. I know. Tell us about this. It seems so early to announce it. I, no. <laughs> but it was so cold this morning, Pumpkin so I feel like it's right. Pumpkin are back at Starbucks, McKinsey. <laughs> it's happening. They announced it this morning, so we can so talk about it. I know, Halloween. and our, our Save the Day ad is in the newspaper today, so <laughs> like we have got to say it. Uh, it's Saturday, October 26th, and what, that, what Fright is, if you don't know, uh, it's, we like to say it's the secret gem of the fall season here because it's a family oriented experience at Walking Mountains. Our theme this year is Halloween Harvest. Oh. It's spooky, but not scary. Okay. Uh, so it's great for all family ages. Um, we have some more of adult activities. We're gonna be doing like pumpkin chucking and there's gonna be a pumpkin patch. Like it's gonna be very, what I think of is classic East Coast fall that we don't really get to have out here. So scarecrows and you know pumpkins, everything. Fine. It's gonna be great and everyone dresses up. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be a scarecrow or a farmer, okay. but everyone, the kids are all dressed up and it's just amazing. So, so fine. we're announcing it, it sells out every year. It's like 400 to 500 people and we sell out. Awesome. So that's why we start so early. Yes, got to get those tickets now. I know. Well, well not on sale yet. Save okay. the date. They're okay. going to be on sale just soon. To save the date. Save okay. the date. Put on your calendar, got put it. a reminder. We'll do a blitz when it's on. 
Okay. When it's starting, but um, okay. it's one of our favorites of the fall. Oh man, I, I could talk to you forever, but of course we're, we're totally out of time, so of we're just gonna have to <laughs> you're just gonna have to come back. Great. And in the meantime, WalkingMountains.org is the website to find out all the information that you need to get signed up for these great hikes, these great experiences. And coming up, we have hour number two.